Hello, District 58 families. My name is Justin Sissel, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. On behalf of District 58, I want to share some information with you about our upcoming curriculum nights regarding where you can find information about District 58's curricular resources and reporting tools. The goals of curriculum night are to introduce teachers to families, to share information with families about what learning will look like for their students this year, and to provide an opportunity to answer questions about learning, not about individual student needs or individual student progress, but about the learning experience in general. We are so excited to welcome families into our classrooms once again so that they can observe and participate in the student learning environment. New this year, we will have two presentations in each elementary classroom with the hopes of allowing more families to attend all of their students' curriculum nights. The presentations will be identical, so family members only need to attend one of those presentations. Individual curriculum night dates and schedules have already been sent home in principal's weekly newsletters. At the middle schools, rather than beginning with all families together in the cafeteria as we have in the past, families will follow their students' complete schedule, learning about the new advisory period and beginning their evening just as students begin their day. The introductions to building administrators, counselors, and other support staff will take place during the students' reading class periods, with families meeting and hearing from the reading language arts teacher during the language arts period. We look forward to your feedback on these changes we are implementing this fall. While individual teachers will speak to the specific experiences in their classrooms, there are some district-wide elements of curriculum that I would like to share with all of you. We've made great strides over the past several years toward providing a consistent educational experience for all students across the district. We are also continuously working to update our district website to provide all families with information around those curricular resources and also our reporting methods. While the website will be continuously reviewed and updated, the information listed is a great start for families to understand the curricular materials that their students will use for learning. We encourage you to explore this website to learn what students will be taught so that on curriculum night, teachers can spend more time talking with you about how students will be taught. After navigating to our district homepage, you will find the Academics tab followed by the Curriculum Overview tab, which brings you to a page that has general information around our areas of study, instructional strategies, assessments, and reporting methods. If we go further into the areas of study, you'll see specific content areas listed in this drop-down menu. If we select Mathematics, for example, you'll see information about the core resources that are used, bridges in mathematics for grades K through five, and big ideas in grades six through eight. You'll see in this case introduction videos that District 58 has created to help families understand the teaching methodologies of these new resources and also links to support pages for each of the resources, both bridges here and big ideas here. As you scroll further down the page, you'll see information about the learning standards that are addressed in mathematics instruction. This is an example of one of our core resource pages. You'll find similar information under reading and language arts science, social studies, and all of the other areas of instruction. Our instructional strategies page is an overview of the type of instruction you'll experience in District 58 classrooms. Assessments list both the types of assessment that are utilized in District 58, as well as the assessment calendar, which talks through all of the formal assessments that are administered for students each year in District 58. The Reporting Methods tab talks about the way we share student progress and the different kinds of reports that you will see. Here at the bottom, it mentions our report cards. You can also find information about the report cards through the Academics tab. The report card is set up to demonstrate all of these descriptors, which tie back to instructional standards that are aligned with the Illinois Learning Standards. So as you look at a trimester report card, you will see some of these descriptors broken down and, and listed on each of those report cards. If you're wondering what does it mean for a student to demonstrate the understanding of key ideas and details in third grade, then we would go back to the report card page and look at the third grade report card resource document. Here, you'll find that same description demonstrates understanding of key ideas and details, and then you can jump down on the page to see 
what does that mean? It means that a student's asking and answering questions to demonstrate understanding of a text. They're recounting stories. They're describing characters in a story. And so all of that information is available for all of our report card descriptors at each grade level. I hope that this overview was helpful to you. If you have any questions about the content in this video, particularly as it relates to the district level components or any of the academic information on our website, please feel free to reach out to me either via phone at 630-719-5867 or via email at jsissel at dg58.org. We are excited to welcome you to Curriculum Nights this month, and as always, we thank you for your partnership in education.